They say the first step in dealing with an addiction is acknowledgement. I really don't know if I'm ready for that yet, but I will tell you, I really like vices. I don't know if it's possible to have too many vices. I'm just going to say that right now. But let's take a quick tour and, and show you what I have collected so far. So let's start with this vice. This is a three inch vice. It's a Colombian. Uh, it looks like the model is C43. I've had this one the longest. I don't know if it's the oldest vice, but I have certainly had this one longer than any other vice. I bought this at an estate sale probably in the uh, mid, mid 80s and uh, I've always kept it with me. And this one, I'm in the cabin garage. So this one's made its way out to the cabin. This is my four and a half inch uh, craftsman vice and uh, pretty sure this is made in China and this one has actually been repurposed the uh, it used to have a swivel base on it but that swivel base broke and I just couldn't throw it away so I ended up mounting it on on a receiver hitch setup so I could can use it as a mobile vice so that's, that's vice number two. This is a three and a half inch Wilton vice. Um, made in the USA. I picked this vice up at an antique store uh, probably seven or eight years ago for $35. This is a Simplex Utility number 500 vice. It's got five inch jaws, made in the USA. This is one that I cleaned up and gave a quick coat of paint. I bought this on Facebook Marketplace for $20. And this right here is the prize of the collection. I just acquired this yesterday. This is a Wilton Tradesman, it's a five inch. Vice, uh, the model is $17.50, and these are actually worth a bit of money. This one in particular was made in the USA. Um, I'm told that these jaws underneath here, if they're cast in, uh, Wilton did do some Chinese production for a short time. Um, but since these are actually not cast, but a separate steel piece, that confirms this was, I believe, built around 1981. And um, doesn't look like much right now, but I think I'm gonna clean this one up. I actually purchased a workbench for 150 bucks with the vise. I know the vise is worth more than that. So I just couldn't pass this one up. It's a gem. Here's one more bonus vise I forgot about. This is a pony woodworking vise. And uh, this is one of the few that I purchased new. I've had it for probably, I don't know, about 10, 12 years. And uh, I just had this mounted on my rolling workbench. 